welcome to today's upload. My name's Emma. Stick around for hauls and vlogs and chats. How the devil are you? Let me know in the comments. I am great. I am cosy in one of my favourite dresses from, I don't know if it was one year or two years ago from the New Look sale. It's got pockets. My sister also has it and sometimes we have to do a bit of a, you wearing your cosy frock? today but if you're looking for it on vintage yeah and I think this is a size 18 um a little bit I usually wear it with like some tights just super super cozy what have you all been up to it is in the sandwichy bit in half term I think some of you might have had half term and some of you are moving on to half term unsure let me know with both kids at different schools now they've had different times Erin had two weeks off and Ethan had a week off so he's got his week coming up and we have lots of fun things planned. We are got, um, we're going to see the castle. Hopefully, I think we're gonna go and see a castle. We're doing some pumpkin um, carving. I booked in pumpkin carving with like a witch. It's absolutely thrilled. It's Stephen's birthday and I can't, this thing else with him, I can't quite remember. I've not really mentioned it, I don't think. Maybe I might be going to see a certain mouse. Um, I've, I've kept it quite quiet, so yeah. This vlog is going to be about like tying up loose ends, getting everything sorted, getting everything prepped, getting presents wrapped and you know, just sorting. Sorting out all the last little minute bits you have to do before you go on holiday and before you have a half term with your kiddlywinks. Now, if you are looking for something fun to do this half term or a weekend um, coming up in the next few weeks, do not forget the Unbox still have two amazing projects going on in the UK. We have the one in Liverpool, but also we have the one Sea Monster, which I took you along to a couple of weeks ago uh, in Western Supermare, which is so great totally free you'll absolutely love it it's well worth grabbing your wellies to go and have a little walk on the beach go down the pier and go and check out sea monster we had such a fun day did we have fish and chips of course we did did we go on the clasper machines of course we did and it was just so 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 much fun. Unbox have hundreds of experiences and events live and online. It's absolutely fab. And their goal was really to showcase the best in science, technology, engineering, the arts and mathematics. I am going to leave a little link to the Unbox website below so you can get some more information about the physical things you can go and visit but also don't forget that Unbox have loads of free stuff. You can do loads of free experiences. They have a few apps. The Pollinations app was absolutely brilliant you can um, design like a virtual garden that's a great app they're also currently doing a perception census which I think loads of you will find really interesting when you can answer loads of questions and they're trying to do uh, get as much information as possible about how different people perceive things that's really interesting so perhaps if you're stuck in the house and it's a bit of a rainy day a bit of a grotty day or you've got some kiddos that need entertaining definitely go and check out the free unboxed apps and also the site where there's lots of information. I will link it all below for you there. And could you let me know what you're doing this half term or what you're up to this weekend? If you've got any spooky plans, I would love to hear it. I have to go because I love my Margot, but my Margot, I can hear her. She's currently just in, in the living room at the front, probably barking at a little old lady that has dared She's dared to walk past the house. Give me some suggestions for how I can stop this. We put up pillows. Stephen doesn't want to have the um, the window cover thing. Do I just need to draw the curtains? Help me, dog moms and dads, help me. Hello, my lovely friends. You are joining me on the rainiest, greyest day I've experienced in Birmingham for a long time. It is absolutely pouring down there has been a bit of a gap since the last clip and this clip you might have seen over on instagram as a family we had some super super sad news so we just took a bit of time to kind of um regroup sort things out be together as a family and also steve and i decided that we're going to carry on with our trip because the kids need a bit of a distraction and it is half term so you know, I'm still going to be like pumpkin carving tomorrow and we've got play date and we're just going to live on them and hug them and just look after them and kind of give them a little bit of a distraction. So we are back now and I am going to be doing a video today which is um, all sorts of like getting ready for our trip, the nitty gritty, 
the car bags, the park bags, the toiletries bags, all the little bits and bobs. I know loads of you wanted to know what kind of stuff we take in a car because we're going to be in the car for 10 hours, which is a super long time. So I'm going to be talking all about that. I'm going to be showing you all the snacks I bought, how I kind of organise the Can you hear the kids just shouting no at each <laughs> Just, just, just no. They're just shouting just no. Um, <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> that's really distracting me. Um, what kind of snacks we're going to take. Spoiler. The, if you're looking for healthy snacks. No. No. At the moment, we're a family that just needs treats and sweets, and there's not, there's, there's one, there's one healthy snack. Um, so I'm gonna go see what's going on with the kids, and then I'll come back. I'm unsure you'll be pleased to hear this or not, but it wasn't the children that were shouting no at each other. It was they were shouting no at the dog, who was trying to eat a bagel. <laughs> family life for you. So the children weren't fighting, they were just trying to intercept a dog who wanted a bagel. She's quite a fancy dog. Okay, so here is the bits and bobs that I have got. Um, these are going to be the kids' car bags. This is a lounge fire, a stitch one that Erin got for her birthday when she turned 11 or was it Christmas? Last year anyway. Or was it two years ago? No, last year. This is very old, it's a hype bag. Um, um, it is a little bit crummy, but it's only really for the car. Uh, so this is going to be my boy's bag, it's going to be my girl's bag. Um, I have been collecting all sorts of knickknacks and bits and bobs and all sorts of things in here. Um, just all sorts of stuff. This is an old, this is a bag from the cruise, the, a Disney cruise. This is a great bag actually, this, is a, this will probably go with this to shove some stuff in. Here is our toiletries bag, we'll come on to that in a bit. And I thought we'd start with the snacks, so are we ready? You might be like, Emma, why are you doing snacks in your bedroom? And I say to you, because my children are downstairs and they're watching a film and I don't really want to disturb them. But uh, as I said, this is not healthy. Please, come on, be kind. <laughs> I went overboard. So these, let's start with the slightly healthy snacks now. So we have got some uh, saurine. Uh, do you want to know what saurine is? It's really, really nice. We've got toffee apple, a toffee apple flavour and we've got um, cherry jellies. I went shopping with my girl and those are the ones that she liked. We have also got some uh, yo-yos, which is also what she chose. Now these aren't, I was going to try and class this as a healthy. This isn't healthy. But we've also got some... Kinder chocolates. Oh, somebody's eaten some. <laughs> We've got Harry ha Harry Hippo biscuits. Um, I've got these were from Poundland. I think they were so in Home Bargains. I thought these would be quite fun. We've just got some sweets, some Skittles, and some chocolate, and also some spooky sweets. Now, one thing you need to remember about Paris. Unless it's changed since the last time we went in 2017, 2018, you don't get any sweets at the trick or treat, and there's no, it's not like Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party where you come out with big massive bags of sweets, you don't get any sweets. So I thought I'd take sweets with us. Uh, we have actually got food um, booked, so we've got some restaurants, and hopefully uh, I'll be able to take you and show you some of the restaurants. And we have got breakfast booked, so we usually, if we have breakfast and a main meal, We'll just kind of have a big snack during the day and this will be something to like kind of tide them over. Um, just a bit of fun really. So let's, let's get these packed up. I'll show you what I'm packing them in. Where did I put that? So I do have these reusable little bags from, these are from Lidl, but a couple of them are currently being used for other things. So we've got three of those, and I'm going to use some of these, which will get, will get used again, don't worry, uh, which are Ziploc bags. And what I like to do is I like to have the snacks, so I can literally in the morning just grab two of these, shove them in the bag, and... Oh no, I think I've chipped my nail. Ah, oh, that's annoying. 
my nails chipped. So I can just quickly pop these in the bags in the morning, the, the part bag, and we can take them with us. So I'm now going to put these all into piles because, God forbid, my children get one gets the Milky Way and one gets the Maltesers. That's, that's not going to that's not going to work in this family. Also, this is what I went for. Thanks so much for your help. Um, it never looks, I always look like I'm doing like a claw. I've gone three black, a kind of, I'm oh, nearly sticking middle finger up here, a kind of like a beige white and an orange. So they're the Halloween nails. However, I have just slightly chipped this one, but I don't think you, I don't think I'll be able to tell. So this is the nails I went. So thanks if you offered me advice about that. Okay, so here's what we've got. I am going to take those straight away because they're not going to want those. And I'm going to make a pile for adults. <laughs> um... I am going to actually just take this in its bag because I don't know if we'll need these as well and we can just keep those and I think some of those skittles will end up going in the trick or treating for when we get back so I'm going to split these up exactly <laughs> equally <laughs> um, so I'm going to need six days worth of snacks so I'll show you what it's like when it's all piled up I don't know if you th you're going to think I'm bonkers doing stuff like this but it just is so much easier to do it here than when I um, when we get there, it just is, it's just easy. Okay, here we go, let's turn my podcast off. Right, so for the car journey, they've just got this little, so this is the last 10 hours, remember. And of course, we're going to take a picnic as well. We usually take a sandwich um, to eat when we get um, into France and have a little picnic. And then each day they've got one of these and they probably won't eat all of it. And if it doesn't, it just carries over to the next day. I've got this for Stephen and I in the car and then we've got some extra stuff over there and that is going to go in the stuff for the trick or treaters because I've got too much. So I'm going to back it all up now for you. Hooray, it's stuck raining. Okay, here is what is going in each kiddo's bag. We have their snacks, we have some wipes, we have their headphones, Ethan's are black, Erin's are white. We have an autograph book that I got for 99 cents in Walt Disney World. It is a Walt Disney World one but that doesn't make any difference. Um, their pins, a little Mickey pen each, and then if you watch my haul videos or you know I've been collecting like bargain pins over the, I don't know, past few months, so they've each got one, two, three, four, five pins that they can trade with each other in the car, I thought would be really fun, they're different ones, so... We've got Maleficent and Jafar, Dumbo. The Fantasia one's the same one, actually. Um, and over here, got some different ones as well. White headphones. So this is what is going to go in their bag alongside their tablet. Evan's already got a notepad in her bag, and I'm going to put a notepad in Ethan's bag. And, yeah, let's get that packed. The bag I'm packing is just, just for the car. It's just this tote, and then this will be used in the parks. So this is Shop Disney and I got it on offer and I'm just going to shove all of my Stephen snacks in here, probably the picnic will go in here, um, wipes, tissues, just everything you could possibly need, probably my Kindle, actually I'm going to charge my Kindle, um, yeah actually that's pretty good, I do charge my Kindle now, so I'm going to pop those in there and then just fill that up over the next few days with all bits and bobs. While we are on holiday, it is actually Stephen's birthday, so I'm going to take some banners and a badge and some candles. I think we might give him his presents before we go, so he can take them with him. He loves only falls and horses. Um, so he can take some of them with him, because a lot of them are like clothes. So I'll see what he says. If not, or maybe we'll take the cards. No, you know what? I think we'll take the cards with us, so you can have the cards up in the room. That would be nice, wouldn't it? In fact, I'm going to go and get the kids to write their card for the, him now. It's so much sunnier now. You know we have had the bago. How many times have I showed you this bago? You're like, em. we get it, you like a bago. <laughs> and now new pit people are going, what the heck's a bago? We have got the bago. So I'm gonna go through and um, check what's in it, see what we need, see, what, see if I need to replenish it with anything. I did get my girl, she went and got some shampoo and conditioner for us. So I'm just going to have a little thick look through this and then I'll show you what we're taking. This is off Amazon, we've had it years and years and years and you will all know, you just you just hang up like that when you get there. So you just find a little hook, you hang it up and that's it, it's perfect. You put your toothbrush on one side 
it's got loads of pockets but yeah it's great so i will just have a quick whoosh through this see what we've got see what we need and uh, then show you exactly what we are taking okay here we go we have got plasters including ones for like the back of the heels in case feet hurt we have a couple of cow poles. this is like one day's worth maybe but just to tide you over because we are there you are quite near a little shopping center so we can go and get some more if we need it um we've got some pa uh, paracetamol and stuff we've got some bubbles some moisturizer then we've got toothpaste um a nail file just nail clippers and stuff these are all from holidays where i ne I've needed to clip my nails and i haven't had any tweezers <laughs> it's taken me years to, to to get this down we have like my skincare we have uh, a deodorant um shower gel that we'll all use i have no idea what this smells like dream by paola paola maria not sure who she is and just some hair stuff so that will all go in there and also we've got um just some shampoo and conditioner which we will bring back because there's no way we're going to get through all that but yeah that will be for all of us so this will go in there and i'll show you what it's like I just think it's a there we go it's all in um all nice and in i just need to put toothbrushes in which we can do this is too big <laughs> that will just be packed but when you go in the car it doesn't matter because you can take loads of stuff so that's done now the next little section of packing i can't show you because it's fancy dress it's halloween fancy dress um so that's exciting i'm not sure how many of us will be doing it but i'm sure somebody will and i'll show it on instagram so i'm going to get that packed next and make sure we've got all the bits and bobs uh so that's my next little secret pack okay so i've packed the fancy dress up this is just extra fancy dress ethan's going with like four outfits um i've also just checked the weather and it's going to be quite warm so i'm now having a little bit of a panic so I've chucked in just a pair of shorts each for them just in case and also packed some sunglasses in my little um, ears thing so I think we are pretty much done apart from shoes and stuff which we will do later as well as the bag out another thing I really recommend you get off Amazon is one of these plug um like holder cases it says be unique be myself they always have these strange phrases on um so you can put them in any like combination you can move all the things around so in here we will put plugs we will put chargers we will put you know camera batteries anything we need and it's all in here and then you know where it is you can just keep it in here it doesn't get lost so yeah these these are really great, especially, you know, we've, we've got at the stage now where, you know, Erin's got a phone, so she wants a charger, and so there's a lot going on. So, yeah, highly recommend getting these. This came in a pack of three, I think, but we will fill this up the morning we go with all the plugs that we need. And, yes, very, 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 very handy. I am packing our Sainsbury's washing basket again. Folds like this, and then I'll just fill it up, and I might try and just bring it back full of washing in here how exciting is that and guys i'm remembering to pack my belts because as we know when i went to lanzarote i forgot belts i forgot shoes i forgot <laughs> i forgot all the things so there you go i think we are prepared as prepared as we can be apart from if it's a bit warm and then i don't know what we're going to do so i might have to check the weather and jig things around accordingly i mean I was packing giant jumpers and <laughs> tights and thick flipping leather trousers. It's not a today problem for Emma. It's a problem in two days when I'll, I'll think about it again. It's not a, it's not an app problem. So I will be back in um, next week with some little vlogs for you. Uh, show you what's going on in Disneyland Paris. Show you some spooky fun and just show you the general travelling to disney because i know um lots of you are interested in that please leave in the comments if you have anything you want me to show you specifically there will be snacks there will be um meet and greets there will be room tours uh, it's a hotel that we're staying at that um 
I'm not sure, we've said it before, but I'm not sure I've ever shown you. So I'll be able to show you that as well and restaurants and just all the fun, good stuff. Again, thanks so much for all your love and support recently. It really, really means a lot to the family. Um, make sure you squeeze each other a little bit tighter tonight. Go and find me, give me a big squeeze, give me a big kiss and a big hug and tell them that, I, that you love them. Okay? I love you lots and I'll see you next week.